Now, one concept which will be checked a lot in certification exam in real life also is about multi AZ and read replica. Let me go ahead and talk about it. So RDS supports multi AZ. Multi AZ stands for multiple availability zone and read replica is basically I have one more database which I target for read data or reading data from it. So let me explain what is the difference between them. What I see here, I see a region in that there is a VPC and I have subnets here. These are two subnet. I get started and subnets are in availability zone and availability zone two. I get started and say I want an RDS. Good. RDS is there. Now what I'm looking for, I am looking for a connection. So this RDS would have given me connection string like I have explained you. Now, if I'm looking to make it multi AZ, multi availability zone, I would select one option, say make it multi AZ. And as soon as I select multi AZ, what is going to happen? It would be creating a primary copy, which is one AZ. And I would have a standby copy into another AZ, which will be created for me. And I would have DNS setting configured by AWS automatically internally that I would have my replication plus my connection string will keep track of health. If primary goes down, it would automatically shift my load to standby and they would have a synchronous replication means whatever data I am writing in a it would also be available on B or there will be no down no delay between data writing both places. My data would be available. That's what we mean by a synchronous replication right now question to you pay attention what I'm asking. My question is if I have some read workload, let's assume that I have to do something like I have to do some reading. I have some read workload. Can I point this read workload to this database? Is it possible? Question again. I have a database which is having a multi AZ architecture and I have an application which requires a lot of read. My question to you is can I point my application to the standby database for doing reading? Okay, I'm getting mixed response here. Yes and no. Let me explain. This is a very common misconception. So let me explain it. Look at this setting. I am saying database connection string. In case of multi AZ, you get one database connection string only. Right. And what is going to happen that your application is pointing to this connection string. This database doesn't get it's a separate connection string. So technically you can't reach to it. Only AWS is maintaining it for your availability. So yes, it is active active in way that copying of data is active active, but it is not actively serving the traffic. It is just what we call a standby. It's not actively doing anything. It is waiting and only if this becomes unhealthy, this would become active. So it is not serving traffic directly Only active or primary serving the traffic standby is just to stand by it is purely purely to maintain high availability not to improve performance. It's not performance improvement and it is just serving it because what we get we get only one connection string your application points to it. AWS DNS service will find out if this connection string is not working here. It would automatically transfer, but you do not have access to the secondary database. It is maintained purely purely for high availability. Right. Hopefully you are clear and get a little more idea on that. What you can do, you can implement a read replica. See this. What we did here, we implemented a read replica. Now this read replica I am keeping into the same region. But if I want, I could go ahead and say, hey, I want a read replica into another region. No problem at all. So we could have a read replica deployed into multiple regions. No issues at all. And then they would be also keeping data, but there would be little difference between replication. These replication would be what we call is a async replication. What we mean by async replication async replication is that hey if you have written here a B and C here automatically ABC will be written at the same time, but it may take little bit of delay before it shows up into 
your read replica so there may be little delay between primary and read replica this is what we call lag so your read replica would be lagging little bit behind they always do asynchronous replication there is not a synchronous replication happening between them right so be aware a read replicas have a asynchronous replication there would be little difference between the data availability in them but the good part about this is that every read replica get its own connection string which means if i have a program let's say i have an application here and that application requires lots and lots of let's say read and write so i have application one it require lot of read and write i can put it here but i have another application which is my reporting application and that doesn't require that much of read on sorry write only reads i could point it here and that's how i'm shielding this database and i am putting all my application onto a read replica so read replica serve read traffic only they get their connection string so in your app let's say what if, if i have one app so in that app I should design that, hey, if write request comes, I will send it to connection string one. If read request comes, I would send it to my read replica. So you would require some logic in your application to split the read and write traffic and point it to those specific location so that you get the best performance out of it. How much lag? It would be some milliseconds. We do not have a SLA because see this. What if this is region is Ireland and this is London? So there would be less but ireland and you put this one into sydney obviously there would be network is longer and there would be more delay so we do not have a specific sla on that but it would i would say millisecond or maybe second but it won't be hours behind from it we will take care of that right so we i don't remember any sla associated with that because it's a network and it will depend on a lot of factor what if if this read replay guy you created is very small in size and this one is very big and obviously that would also affect your performance when you are moving it from one location to another location right so hopefully you are clear on that